Hey guys, Ray here, and I wanted to make a quick review video of the Explainedio Video Creator version 3.0. And this new version of Explainedio adds a ton of new features and is a tremendous program for creating videos in info style or hand-drawn style, and even using traditional video as well, as you can see on the screen here. And I wanted to show you this based off of something that uh, we've just done recently. And uh, we're going to turn the audio off on this. And this is an actual instant spokesperson video. As you can see, uh, we brought it into Explainedio. And then in just a few moments, you're going to see why we brought it into Explainedio. So you can kind of see what we've done here. And then I'm going to go over some of the other cool features inside of the program. And you can see right about now, boom, you can see our logo comes in here. And that's what we've done with this is we've created the actual final video for an instant spokesperson video. So if you've bought those in the past or you want to buy them and you didn't know how to brand them, well, this program will actually handle that branding for you very, very easily. You just bring in your logo and let it slide onto the screen just like that. And I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, as you can see, this is our main video window here. And up here, this is our video in the actual timeline. And then down here, this is the breakdown of that timeline. So you can see we've got the logo on the top and we've got the video on the bottom. And we've brought the video all the way across here and the logo is just this portion right here. And we can actually move that back and forth and, and you know have it start in different places. So if you had a logo you wanted to bring in earlier, you know somewhere back here, you can still do that. You can add a phone number. And even when you export, you can actually add a watermark as well. And we'll show you some of those features. So to set this up, all we have to do is come over to our open canvas button at the bottom of the screen here. And you'll see this is our canvas. And what we have is we have the video, which is one of the layers. And then we have our logo, which is the other layer, which is right here on the top. And what you can do is when you bring your logo in, you can create these animations just like this. So you can see it starts here and then it slides over to here. And of course you can move these around to anywhere you want, okay? Just very, very easy to do. If you wanted to have it come in from the bottom, you could do that. And when you're done, all you have to do is hit close canvas and you can see now it flies in just like that. So that's how we can use this for instant spokesperson. But of course, this can be used for so much more, but I wanted to use that as an example that's something you can do inside of here very, very easily. Now let's, uh, let's actually clear this out and we're gonna create a new project and we don't need to save this one. Oh, actually, let's do this again, sorry. Oh, I hit open project, that's why. We're gonna hit create project, and we're not gonna save this. We're gonna create a new one. We're gonna call this test one, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with the old versions of Explainedio, the basic idea is you can do uh, different pieces of the video. Now, we showed the canvas in just a minute, uh, just a minute ago, so what you do is you create slides. Now, a slide could be anything from an image and some text, to a hand-drawn section of your video. So when we hit the plus button here, you'll see it says create new scene or add scene from a personal library. We're gonna hit create new scene and it's gonna create this blank canvas here. And down at the bottom, we can add 3D objects. We can add an animation or a slide, add video, add animated GIFs, add bitmaps, add sketch images, add text, or close the canvas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with an animation slide because that's the easiest way to do it. Now in here, you can add an Explainedio slide or you can even add a flash animation. We're gonna start off by hitting the Explainedio slide and you'll see here that we've got all these different slides that are built in, all ready to go, ready to be used, okay? And each one of these has different pieces. And so the idea is, for instance, let's say we wanna go with this business concept here. This could be slide one, this can be slide two, slide three, slide four, Slide five. So we're gonna start off with slide one and we're going to hit add single. Okay, so now we're gonna see our preview here. We're just gonna hit add and bring it in. And you can see we now have our slide inside of the canvas window. Again, if we close the canvas, we'll be able to see the actual video. Okay, and there we go. And we can actually make any changes that we want to this very easily by coming in and just editing everything that's involved in here. Uh, we can also set this to loop just so you know, so that if you wanna watch this in real time over and over, it'll actually loop as we go through this. 
Okay, so as we do this here, you'll notice that we've got, every time you click this, it's gonna start from the beginning again. Now you notice that hand is in there. Well, we can actually remove that hand simply by coming in here and taking that out. And now we don't have it in there any longer. And so now we can come in and we can start to make changes to our file. Now you'll see here that the animation can be controlled inside of here by adding things like pauses. So we can pause it, we can pause it at different frames. So if we wanted to, in this case, as we're watching this, you see this comes in, then this comes in. If we wanted to pause it here for five seconds, we could do that over here by simply adding a pause frame. We're gonna add the pause frame, uh, you know, this is 129 at 42 seconds, and we're gonna pause it by 42. And now you'll see that it freezes right there and then continues on. So that's something that you can do with this if you need to emphasize something specific in there. So now if we wanna add something to this particular video, all we have to do is go back to our open canvas button at the bottom, click on that, and you'll see our canvas here. And we can then add objects, a text or video, etc. And in this case, let's say we wanna add some text. So we'll click the text button and you'll notice that it pops in text in our timeline here. However, you'll also notice that it's underneath our video, which means if we were to play this back later, this, these words here would not be seen because the video would be on top of them. So we'll need to reorder them. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a change here. We're just gonna put in Ray is great. And then we're gonna come over here and you'll see that you can move on top, you can move up, you can move down, you can move on, uh, move on bottom, you can scale it full screen, you can do all sorts of things. So if we wanted to scale that full screen, we could do this. Of course, that looks ridiculous, so we'll go back. Um, you can scale proportionally. So it'll do it and just fit it to the screen. Okay, again, still a little bit ridiculous. Uh, but what we wanna do is we wanna move this up. Now, if you watch the timeline here, when we hit move up, you'll see that now the text shows up as the top item in here. And if we go back out and we close this, you'll see that the text sits on top of the video. Now you notice it's flashing here. Just so you know, what it's trying to do is it's trying to play that first frame because this is not, the Ray is Great isn't animated. So it's just repeating that first frame where the text shows up. If we click this here, you'll see that it plays the full video again and the Ray is Great is right here. Now, one thing that's added to this, uh, which is actually very, very cool. Actually, let's play this again. You'll see we've got Ray is Great here the whole time. Well, if we come up here, we can actually move this. And so now the next time that it plays through, We'll actually pause it here for a second. You'll see Ray is Great is not there until it reaches there and boom, Ray is Great pops up on there. So we can actually move things around like that to kind of adjust where things show up. And that's how we would add our logo to just the end of that instant spokesperson video that we showed earlier. Now, once we have our first slide here and this is what we want, we can come in and we can add more slides. So we, again, we hit create new scene. We can come over here add animation or slide, add an explain to your slide, and now we could add number two. So we'll add that one in here. And there we go, now we've got number two. And you can see up here, we've got one and we've got two. And if we, come, if we go back out of the canvas, you'll see now, first of all, once again, we've got our little hand there, so we'll get rid of our hand, because we don't need that in this. And you'll see it's just playing scene number two. We click on scene number one, it'll go back and play scene number one again. And so that's how we set up our different scenes here. Again, we can add text or images or anything that we want to change what's in here or to add new things to it. Now, the other thing is we come to slide. You can see that we've got some options in here. We can set up the sketches if we wanted to do that. We can set up a background video. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to see a background video because this covers the whole screen. There's also effects for certain items. This one doesn't have any effects that you can use right now. And then back in the scene, again, you can set GIF backgrounds, you can set add a voiceover, you can set a, a, a video background, you can also come up here and add more things as well. So there's a lot of great options that you can do in here. Once we're ready with that, we can come in and we can add another new scene. So this time what we're gonna do is instead of adding one of the slide animations, we're gonna do a sketch. So I'm gonna pick something here. So for instance, maybe in, in this part of the video, you're gonna talk about using a visa. So there's our visa, we can move it around. We can also animate it if we wanted to. And when we're done with that, we're gonna hit close canvas and you'll see, draws in our visa. Okay, so now we've got our three scenes. We got scene number one, we got scene number two, and we got scene number three. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to set these up very quickly. Now, of course, 
This one here probably doesn't fit in very well, but uh, it, it just kind of shows you what can be done with this particular program. Now, if we don't like one of these, we can, of course, get rid of it. Okay, so we get rid of our scene just by clicking that. And now we can go back and we can add another slide. And once again, we can come in. We can, oops, sorry, I don't want to show that yet. That was the wrong button. We hit the slides. And now we can hit scene number three. Or let's say we want to jump right to the end now. We can come up with scene number four. Hit add single. And now we've got the fourth scene inside or the third scene into our, our final project here. Now, assuming that we like what we have here, all we have to do now is export our video out. And we can do that by hitting create video. And then we'll have a nice video that we can use in all of our marketing. Now, a couple other things I want to show you with this, if we go back into our, or actually already in our canvas here, we have 3D objects this time. So if you've got 3D objects, you can add those. Okay, such as this uh, looks like a roulette wheel. So if we wanted to add our roulette wheel, um, again, we want to make sure that our roulette wheel is on the top. So we're going to move on to the top. We're going to close our canvas. And you'll see now there's our roulette wheel in stunning 3D. So all of that is built right into Explaindio. And again, we can move things around if we need to, change things up, whatever it is we need to do. And we've got a tremendous video very, very quickly. Now, some other things that we have in here, and, and I'll be honest with you guys, I don't even know half the stuff that's in this new version yet. It's still too new to me, but I love the new features with the 3D. I love the new features with uh, some of the animation creation that you do here, the timeline, etc. Now, there's one other really cool feature I want to quickly show you here, which really makes this an amazing upgrade to an already great product. You'll notice here to the left of our items, there's a little triangle. And if we click on that, you'll see that underneath it, it says add new effect. Well, this allows you to add automation to your animations. And what I mean by that is if we click on this, you'll see a whole bunch of things pop up here. So for instance, under animated presets, you've got things like slide from left, dive swing, uh, rotate twister, all these different things that you can add to your animation automatically without having to really understand animation. So if I hit slide from left, you'll see our roulette wheel now slides and fades in. You'll notice there's a little handle here, and if we drag this out, you'll see that now it slides in real slow and fades up. And if we bring this back to the beginning, you'll see that it does it very quickly. So all of this animation can be done really fast, really quickly, and of course, you can add more effects to these as you go along here. So you can set it to, let's say, to fade out if you wanted. You can set the fly so you can have it fly out. Okay, so you'll see it's gonna play here and it's gonna go all the way through our animation and we'll have to wait through this. So I apologize that it's taken a bit of time. I guess we should have shortened our piece out here. But when it reaches that handle, you're gonna see that it's then going to do our little fly out that we did. And here it comes. Wait for it, wait for it. This is so exciting, anticipation. And there it goes, flies out. Okay, and again, you can shorten, you can lengthen it, you can do whatever it is you need to do that you wanna do to make this animation your own. So there you go, that is some of the really cool things that are built right into Explaindio 3.0, a very, very cool program. And just so you know, we've barely scratched the surface on all the stuff that Explaindio 3.0 does. But what I've done is I've added to the bonus page here a whole bunch of individual videos that will show you some of the unique features that Explaindio 3.0 has so you can kind of see them and explore all the cool things. And by the way, they also have free royalty free mu uh, images in here and free royalty free videos that are built into the program as well, which will help you to make some great videos. So check the videos below to see all the cool things they have. And of course, the other thing I wanna show you is when you purchase Explaindio, they have a ton of training in here on every aspect of the program. As you can see, there's just a ton of videos in here and you'll be able to learn all about the program. Some of these we've put into the page so you can kind of learn about those features. But basically, if you get this, not only is it easy to use, but they've got everything you need to learn it. So I highly recommend you check this out. Explaindio 3.0, an amazing new video creation tool that you are absolutely going to love. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to let me know.